In the 21st century architecture, very often we don't constrain ourselves with straight lines. But when you design something that looks like this, you have a small structural problem. You discretize your shape and divide it into a finite number of structural elements. So now you have your facade elements, you have structural members, you have structural joints or connections, and they're all different. All elements in a freeform structure are unique. If you take a freeform grid shell roof, sometimes you might end up with tens of thousands of unique elements. So now you have a problem. In order to produce all those elements, you need exact specifications for everything. Plans, you need every screw drawn, every millimeter covered. So what do you do? One option is to hire an army of technical drawers. Have them do all the hard and boring work and after a couple of months the architects will come to you and say I don't really like this form anymore. I would like to change the curvature. So what happens? Because you have a free form, all of your structural elements change. The solution form will change a number of times during the process of design. And if it doesn't, you're losing the freedom of design. So what would be a better solution? Automation. In engineering, every construction follows certain rules. If there are rules, you can automate the whole process. I'll give you an example. An architect comes and says, this is my building. You listen to the story about how the curvature of the building follows the urban flow. You nod your head. You don't tell them you know they saw a piece of paper on the ground and thought, hmm, that's kind of a nice shape. So you take the form, you take the surface and you discretize it with a couple of steps. You smoothen the grid with a couple of interesting tools that we use and you have your linear structure. So with one click you can export the entire structure to the static analysis program. The software enumerates all the members and joints, connects them together and prepares them automatically for static analysis. You can redesign and test statically your structure in a matter of minutes. While you are doing that, you think about the structural members and how you want them to look like. You can develop different types of members and rules of their generation. You insert it into the code and when the members are exported, they all have the information about the cross-section, material and so on. So when all the members have their 3D information, you can export them to the static analysis program or you can generate the 3D geometry. Not only members, you can go as deep as you want. Think about the different elements like glass holders, silicon fuse, screws, holes, etc. There is no reason not to generate them automatically too. Just code it, everything can be automated. Notice an interesting thing. If you have a free form, all of these members are not only different in length, they're also differently oriented in space. So the software does the calculation for you and orients all the members properly. It is redundant to mention that without the proper orientation, any static analysis would be wrong. So we come to structural joints. They are tricky. You really have to think good about their properties and the rules of their creation before you code them. They have to look good, they have to be structurally acceptable, they have to be adaptable. They have to fit different types of members, a wide range of angles, etc. Every part of the structure, including screws, holes, welds, can be programmed. Whatever comes to your mind can be automatically generated. So now you have a structure with thousands of different glass elements, thousands of different structural members, thousands of different structural connections, each with holes, welds, bolts, bracings, and what you need is to produce all of them. So what do you do? Rinse and repeat. Think, do the rules, code, hit enter. The elements are automatically decomposed, ordered, dimensioned, prepared for the CNC machine. Well, there is a process of converting the 2D drawings into the G code that the robot uses to cut and mill. But, as you can guess, this can be automated too. 
you have to change the way you think about it now. Think, do the rules, code, hit enter. And the beauty is, whenever something changes, you have the whole process automated, so you are able to generate the entire structure again in a matter of hours or sometimes minutes. This gives you so much more design freedom that you can change your form all along the way until one month before the production of elements, literally. You don't need fancy offices anymore, project managers that manage other project managers. You don't need months of redundant work. So now a couple of people can take a project that's millions and millions of dollars worth and generate all the elements within a month or two, or within a couple of weeks if we are talking about something smaller. Change the way you think. Think, do the rules, code, hit enter.